and these are reimagined queer fairy tale the the well it's been a minute since i uploaded a video and i have a lot of reasons why i started a new job yay me and have just been trying to acclimate to being a working woman. I've also been in such a terrible reading slump and I've only recently got out of it. But you know what? It's June, it's Pride Month, and I think it is the time to restart the TBR game and just just go, just get on with it all. I read some books the last time I played the game, but I don't remember any of them. I have them written down somewhere, but I just literally can't be bothered to go get them right now. So if you would like to know what I read in March, because I think that's the last time I did one of these, then just go just go watch my video. It's all there. You're welcome. I'll let you in on a little secret though. I did not finish my March TBR. So I am going to take a punishment and I have not done this in a while. So I thought, you know what? Let's just make it extra entertaining and let's pull two punishments. two books, one prompt. So this punishment means that when I roll and I get a prompt to fulfill the prompt, I have to read two books of the same prompt. You get it. All right, one more. Okay, okay. And then I also have to draw a TBR card. And then whatever the TBR card says, that is what I must do. Okay, I went and grabbed my cards. Let's see what I get. Okay, so I need to read a new to me author. Let me go figure that out. I am going to pick up this book by Melanie Gilman. I have never read any of their works before but they've been on my radar and I am excited to have an excuse to pick up this beautiful graphic novel that is all about reimagined queer fairy tales. I think this is a great way to kick off Pride Month. I'm very excited. I can't wait to give their work a shot. All right, so let's go roll and hopefully we can put a lot of gay books on my TBR this month in honor of pride. Let's go. This is roll number one. And that's a 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yellow flower. So we started off with a yellow flower, which if you don't know, that means I read a play or poetry. And I am going to pick a poetry book for this. And I'm actually going to end up using the punishment for this prompt. So I'm going to read two poetry books. The first one I am going to read is I Praise My Destroyer by Diane Ackerman. I don't know anything about Diane Ackerman. I picked this up at my local indie, my local used bookstore, and she wrote an elegy to C.S. Lewis later in the book. That's all I need to know anything about C.S. Lewis. I will pick that up. This seems like a sad one. And I read a happy poetry collection in March. So I'm due for a little sad, a little sad poetry, I think. So I'm definitely going to pick this up. And I'm also going to read along with that On My Way to Liberation by H. Melt. This is written by a trans author. This poetry collection is all about the theme of trans liberation. And what a better time for me to read this than Pride. 
So I am I'm very excited that I started off with a yellow flower. Both of these poetry collections have been on my uh, like short TBR list that I have in my head. And I'm just, I think this, I mean, it's so short, but I think it's gonna be really impactful. And I really recommend, especially for Pride Month, that you try to pick up at least one trans author. So I'm definitely going to be reading this and I can't wait. Let's go on to the next roll. Well, this is roll number two. Natural 20. Nineteen twenty, blue flower. Okay, so we got a natural 20, which is great. And we got a blue flower, which I'm gonna be very honest, is not my favorite prompt. It means that I have to read a literary fiction novel or a classic. And in the past, I've kind of made this work for me by reading classics that are not in the like classic Western European canon, right? Uh, I've read some other books that are objectively classics, but they're not the kind that, you know, you would read exclusively if you get a literature degree. I have been meaning to pick up this comic. Uh, everyone I talk to, who is like, hey, you should get into comics. This is one of the first ones they always men mention. Honestly, it's between this and Watchmen that people are like, hey, if you're gonna start reading comics, you gotta start with the classic. And I'm gonna start with The Long Halloween. Uh, this is obviously a Batman comic. And I have been told that if you really want to get to know Batman as like the detective persona that he's, you know, known for, this is where you start. This is like the epitome of like detective Batman. At least that's what I've been told. And I just have to be really honest with you. It's the summer. I don't have the mental fortitude to sit down and read like Walt Whitman. It's just not happening. So I am definitely going to pick this up. I have been meaning to read it for years. And so I think this is gonna be great. This is written by Jeff Loeb. I've never read any of their stuff before, I don't think. So this will be another new author for me. And I think, I think it's gonna be good. I am going to make this work for this prompt. This is my game. I took two punishments. What else do you want from me? Let's go on to the next roll. This is roll number three. That's a 16. That's another yellow flower. We got another yellow flower poetry. This is a poetry month. This is very, so very gay thing to do. Um, I think it's just, I'm just gonna read poetry during the month of June. Very sapphic of me. I am going to pick up this poetry collection that I have seen all over the place. It's another classic. This could have fit in the blue prompt for sure. I am going to read Howl and Other Poems by Allen Ginsberg. Also picked this up at a used bookstore. This was a find at a used bookstore in Boston when I went with my family and I haven't read it for months and it's just been sitting on my shelf and it's, it's a crime because it's so short and I have been told by everybody who reads poetry that this is it, that this is one of the poetry collections that you read if you really want to get into reading modern poetry. Honestly, I might just take a day and like go to my local coffee shop and just sit down and read all this poetry and just have a me morning. That sounds lovely. I'll try to do that this month. I'll prioritize doing that. So gonna read this. I have two other poetry collections plus the other stuff that I mentioned. 
Let's go on to the next roll. This is roll number four. That's a 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Greenery space. Okay, so a greenery space, that means nonfiction. And I am going to continue picking up books about writing. As I mentioned in my last video, I know it's been a minute, but I would really like to write my own romance novel one day. And I already uh, read a book all about like story structure and like how to write a romance novel. And one of the things that I am starting to notice writing it is that you, especially during sex scenes, it's really difficult to use words without them being uncomfy or awkward. So I picked up this book and this is a thesaurus um, that helps romance writers come up with new words. And there is some writing advice in here. Uh, so obviously I'm gonna read that. And then it also includes lists of different suggested words. So I'm gonna study this like I did the other one. I'm gonna get do some notes and then uh, hopefully I have some time this summer and I can start like editing the stuff I already have and maybe write some new ideas down. I don't know, we'll see, who knows? But anyway, I am going to definitely read this for my nonfiction space. It's, I bought it months ago Again, this reading slump has been kicking my butt. Oh, this is by Kara Bristol. Thank you, Kara. I'm sure I'll enjoy your book very much. This is roll number five. And that's four. One, two, three, four. So close. You know what? I'm not even I'm not even gonna complain about it because between the punishments and the dice rolls, this game has been ideal. I can't ask for a better, you know, list of books to start my month off with. So I'm not going to complain that we were one space away. It's fine. We got a white flower, which means mystery thriller. And I am going to finish the clue vlog that I started recording months ago, but I didn't finish because I didn't finish reading this. I didn't even start it. So this is In the Study with the Wrench by Diana Peter Freund. Can never say this woman's name. This is a modern retelling of the Clue board game. And so we have all of our normal characters plus a, uh, an OC and they are just, you know, there's, there's a murder afoot because uh, it's a Clue book. And so they obviously, need to solve the mystery because I'm guessing someone gets murdered in the study with the wrench and they gotta figure it out. So I am excited to pick this up. I am pretty sure that one of the characters is gay. I'm pretty sure that that's going to come to light soon. I have a sneaking suspicion, which again would be very appropriate because it is pride, blah, blah, blah. I just need a silly book. I just need a silly book to sit down like and read at a park or something. I just need something silly, something low stakes. And that's what these books are. And I love them for it so much. So I'm gonna read In the Study with the Wrench by Diana Peter Freund. I am gonna enjoy this and I am gonna film myself. There will be a second clue vlog. I promise, I promise. Let's see what I get for my final TBR prompt. Okay, so there's no point in rolling, but roll number six, we get a TBR card. And I need to read a 400 plus page length book. So not great. It's fine. It's fine. We gotta read a 400 plus page book. I would have liked something a little bit easier, but it's okay. Not a big deal. I have been slacking on the books that I promised I would read. Remember, I made that video listing 12 books and I promised you I would read them this year. I have been kind of slacking. If I'm going based off of, I need to read one book a month, 
I'm, you know, a couple books behind. So I am going to, to commit to reading Babel by R.F. Kuang. Uh, this is over 400 pages. It's like 400. It's, oh, it's over 500 pages. So we're definitely hitting the prompt. We got it. The internet blew up last year when this came out. Everybody read it and everybody did a review about it. And I'm gonna be honest, I didn't watch any of them because I didn't wanna be spoiled. I was waiting for it to come out on paperback and then I bought it months ago and I still haven't read it. So I am going to uh, challenge myself. I really think all the rest of the books that I put on this list were very much like Katie, you're getting back in the thing, the, the swing of things. Like, here's some easy books to like get you in back into the YouTube space. I would like to challenge myself with something a little bit more meatier. And that's why we chose Babel, friends. So I am going to read this. If I have as strong of a reaction as the rest of the internet apparently did, I might do a dedicated vlog to it. It's about people getting murdered in Oxford. I mean, there's, unless she's a terrible author, which I don't think she is, I think we should be able to do this. So I'm going to read Babel. Um, I think this might be like a beach read, like I might take it to the water park with my family and I might read it there. This is my pile, my TBR pile for the month of June. I think I'm gonna have a good time. I'm nervous about Babel, but everything else I think is just gonna be a delight to read. I miss you, I'm glad to be back, and I promise that I am going to be better about uploading on a more regular basis. I just gotta kick my butt with the editing because it's the bane of my existence. But I'll do it for you, friend, because you're worth it. I hope you all have a great pride. Please be safe. Please be careful. Have lots of fun. And as always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and have a great day. Bye.